this afternoon here in Kitchener, we qualified our first team for the final two spots in Winnipeg. And the roar of the rings, John Morris and his team will be there after a thrilling last shot win over Brad Jacobs. Now tonight, another team from BC will get their chance. Kelly Scott's team has been the best all week. So she will have a chance to pick up a spot in Winnipeg and a possible trip to Sochi. The old clock tower in Victoria Park, considered the uh, jewel of Kitchener. This uh, Capital One road to the roar began last Tuesday. And earlier today, a game that went back and forth with the reigning Canadian champion Brad Jacobs and John Morris now skipping. But it's Jim Cotter throwing the fourth stones for the BC team. And look at this yep. shot yep. as yep. he managed to drag it to the four foot for the win. And with that, Morris and his team become the first to earn their ticket to Winnipeg. Remember, of course, there were two spots still available, two teams to come out of this event. So Morris becomes the first. Brad Jacobs, well, he'll get a second chance. He'll play the winner of Steve Laycock. Brad Guju will have that tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. So we have just one spot to fill now for the Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings beginning December the 1st in Winnipeg. Kevin Martin, Glenn Howard, Stout, and Cooey. Does it get much better? You bet it does. We have Mike McEwen, John Epping and John Morris. And for your information, Morris will open against Glenn Howard. His last draw will be against his former teammate for seven years, Kevin Martin. Now tonight, we'll concentrate on women's play. And Kelly Scott, who's been here before, gone through this process. She lost, of course, the final in 2005 to go to Pinarolo, to Shannon Clybrink. She'll have another chance now to get to Winnipeg. The winner, Scott or Sonnenberg, goes directly. The loser will get a second chance against Val Sweeting from Edmonton. Earlier today, a winner over Cheryl Bernard. As on this Saturday night, we say hello, Canada. Welcome back to our continuing coverage. Short stay here in Kitchener, but busy. Three draws today, three draws tomorrow. And when you uh, talk about this uh, Kelly Scott team, they do have so much experience. You know what you're going to get, don't you, Vic? Uh, nothing's going to bother them. The pressure's not going to bother them. The team they play is not going to bother them. The ice, the rocks, nothing. They're going to play well. They're going to be consistent. The only way Sonnenberg's going to win is just to curl really, really well. Now, Renee Sonnenberg doesn't have the experience. Her team certainly doesn't. She's been to a couple of Scotties. She's done some international coaching as well. Maybe she will be the ultimate key. Well, she's going to be the key. She's a very smart skip. I'm so impressed with the way she reads the ice, knows the stones, and most of all, gets the best out of her players game after game. It was a very close game against Scott before. I think it will be again. So we have two spots remaining in the women's field for Winnipeg. We're going to fill one of those spots this evening as the crowd makes its way into the Kitchener Memorial Auditorium on a Saturday night. The 2013 Capital One Road to the Roar is brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? The 2013 Capital One Road to the Roar is brought to you by M&M Meat Shops. Frozen food at its best. By Tim Hortons. Always fresh, always great tasting coffee. And by Ford. Go further. It's the home of the uh, Kitchener Rangers of the Ontario Hockey League. This um, Kitchener Memorial Auditorium has hosted four Memorial Cups, the last in 2008. It's time to meet the teams now. It's brought to you by Ford, proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for 20 years. Renee Sonnenberg and her team from the Grand Prairie Curling Club with Rona Fasica, Carrie Ann McTaggart, and Lonnie McDonald are rounding out the foursome. Kelly Scott and her team from the Kelowna Curling Club with Sarah Wozni, Sasha Carter, Gina Schrader, and of course, the two-time Canadian 2007 world champion, Kelly Scott has skipped. Because Kelly Scott went through undefeated, she gets the choice of stones and the last rock. She selected the yellow. She will have the hammer as Renée Sonnenberg has made her way out to put the brush down and 
get this game underway. Again, the importance, the winner of this game will be in Winnipeg. The loser will get a second chance tomorrow. And to get us underway, the lead for Sonnenberg is Rona Pasika. She's been to one uh, Have fun, ladies. Scotties. That was back in 2000, playing with Heather Nedowin. As far as how these two teams got to this position, Kelly Scott qualified through the A final Thursday afternoon, so she's had quite a wait to get here. So similar to the men we were discussing in the afternoon draw, I wouldn't be surprised for Kelly Scott to take a little while to get sort of figure it out out there. Unfortunately for these two teams, they did play in the A final. They played on the trickiest sheet in the building, and that was sheet five. So the game wasn't as well played as it might have been, in my opinion. The stones were really tricky. But it has been a wait even for Renee, who finished yesterday morning. Yeah, sheet five has, uh, hasn't been used as many as, as much in the rotation as the other four sheets the CCA own, and uh, they were breaking a lot more, maybe up to seven feet of curl, and the, both teams uh, at nearly every game struggled with those rocks. So this, this sheet C is perfect, really nice. Out in this particular spot right here, it could run straight if you get out a little bit wider than the edge of the eight foot. So I we'll have to keep an eye on this spot, but there's tons of curl with the out turn. Sarah Wozni throwing the lead stones for Kelly Scott. This is her second year with the team. Former Canadian junior champion out of Manitoba with Caitlin Laws. So it's nice for Kelly to find some consistency for her team. Uh, herself and Gina Schrader and Sasha Carter all taking some time off to uh, raise their families. Now have uh, somebody at lead that they can count on. I think this team deserves a ton of credit for, uh, you know, family comes first and, and they, they've kept their game sharp by just practicing a lot, not playing that much, not traveling and spending a lot of time away from home. And uh, you just know you're going to see a good game out of Kelly Scott's team. Doesn't matter what event, what year. Starting to go. It's trying hard, but it's not here yet. Yeah, it's sliding actually. You know, Linda, you mentioned about the yeah. fact that they haven't played uh, yeah. since uh, Thursday. I'm not sure if that, uh, I'll just raise the point. I'm not sure that kind of rest or that kind of weight is going to affect them because they don't play that much generally. Well, it's just that this ice is a little bit tricky. We've I knew there was about a the stones. There's always a but. <laughs> and the but is, it's a little tricky out there, and I think teams that have been getting on a roll feel a little more comfortable, more quickly going to the offense. So I wouldn't be surprised in this end, and even in this game, that Kelly Scott isn't the one that leans to the defense, and Renee Sonnenberg leans more to the offense. Just another inch of curl would have saved the yellow. Leaves that Sonnenberg stone, though, just nibbling at the back of the 12. I think we better just go here. Okay. Yeah. 10. This is a 10. Straight spot Straight. here. Yeah. Okay, nice 10. Nice so they definitely know easy. about this spot. I thought that Renee, if anybody had been watching this ice, she would pick up all the spots pretty quickly. The interesting thing is you may oh, wonder why oh, people oh. would draw with nine, this turn nine, when the other turn has eight, more curl. But the hits are just as yeah. tricky. So even if you get half buried in this spot, no, 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 taking no, no, it out no, 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 is no, really tough. Clean. Whoa, 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 no roll. Okay. Nine, seven, yeah. And we'll hold it there, too. Here's an example of what you talked about, Linda and Kelly, uh, with the time Nine off. And the advantage of Hammer is going to play a little defensively. They could try to loop one around that center guard, create some, some more pressure on uh, Team Sonnenberg. This, this one will really curl. Sasha Carter throwing second stones has been with Kelly the longest time. Their, their history dating back to their junior days in Manitoba. And rolls it over and puts, oh yeah, puts the stone entirely in front. Let's take a look at the game plan and what you think this may turn out to do. Well, I think based on the first game, Renee Sonnenberg is going to play aggressively, and I think that's smart. She's going to use the guards and come-arounds and really push Kelly Scott. 
who would rather play a little more defensively. In particular, Kelly doesn't want to give up steals. She's had a little bit of a history of that on the ball skill circuit, and she wants to avoid that. Try to keep the play away from the middle when she's got the hammer. The game plan is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping families have better financial futures. A little over curl on the swingy side, a chance nine to sit two here. That was nine and a half? Uh, yes. Nine, nine One of the eight. things that Kelly Scott's team works Probably on a lot is more. trying to get Probably consistent nine, releases. Nine, nine, That's nine. actually not very common amongst team mm -hmm. players. You often have a player with a very different release, sometimes a left-hander. But they're working on it, and they throw a very positive release. You can see there's Sasha putting on the big rotation. That yeah. will counteract a little bit of the curl in this spot. Good. Couldn't run the Sonnenberg stone out without taking their Little rock out at the back. Okay, let's try and get the roll. Yeah, just a nice easy 10, Lonnie. Lonnie McDonald. has been to one Scotty's that was in uh, 2002 playing with Kathy King she played in the uh, good line nine nice week a curling trials as well with Kathy well, there's some experience here but the majority of it is with Renee Sonnenberg and for all of those uh, appearances Vic they didn't make the playoffs and we've talked about this a lot. It's great to win your province and go on. You've been a very good player, but there is something different about a playoff game and the pressure that comes with it. And there's nothing like playing it in a couple of times to really feel comfortable. Yeah, it just gets easier and easier after you get through that first hurdle. And uh, you're right, it's a, it's a little different. Uh, thinner air up here. It's close. Nice wait, Gina. Nice wait, Cal. Yeah, 10-7. Okay. Yeah. How easy for was it for you playing 11. in New Brunswick? Yeah, right up. <laughs> just the fact that it got easier and easier. Was it easy, just as easy down in New Brunswick for you? Well, it, it, no, but it, it, it's hard. It's it's hard at the Canadian Championship to to, uh, to to make a playoff, for instance. Uh, no, I understand that, yeah. but I mean, it just. I agree with you. There's, you have to, you have to experience yeah. it and and play in it. Do you not think, though, Linda, that we talked earlier today about all the experiences meaning something, or is there just something unique about playing at? with yeah, that kind okay. of pressure. Well, let's face it, in every sport, there are various levels. We talk about junior experience, collegiate experience, and then moving into adult play, and every event gets tougher and tougher, and the playdowns leading to the Olympics, I think, are the hardest. And if you make the playoffs for that because of the prize, that's the hardest. So you have to be in that actual situation to understand what we're saying, but it is tough. And there is a lot of pressure, and you have to have great mental skills to deal with. And the other thing, too, Russ, is it's the uniqueness of the Olympics. It's right. only every four years. And while some of these teams, the Kevin Martins, for example, your brother, play almost in all the trials, many of them only get one chance, if ever. A great point, absolutely. And you sure want to take advantage of it when you can, and it's, it's, that's that extra pressure. I know the year uh, we did well, uh, I thought, I, I felt more pressure than I think yeah. Gushu and the young Newfoundland team did because at 24, 25 years old, I think they had it in their head they were going to go to seven or eight trials and have a good chance to uh, represent their country. And uh, it's not always that simple. And, uh, you know, as you get older, there's only so many tries when it's four years apart. So a good chance for Renee. There's a rollout by Team Scott, and that means that center guard is still available for a come around. She's sticking with the straighter turn. Six, seven. Good. Seven. Got lots of room. Six. Switch. Got a curl. Seven. Seven. It's keyed up here. Here's maybe eight. Okay, yeah, let's bury it. Well, well you're nine. Nine. Okay, well, then it'll no. bury it. Nine, ten. Push along. Now, we've seen this sheet a lot. Okay. And I think back to the earlier game, 
Oh. Morris against Jacobs. This was a bit of a straight spot, was it not? And do we not just? Yes, yep. it has been really the whole event, but in particular, last couple of days, we've got a spot in this side. And as I said, the other side curls more, but you just have to make those mm -hmm. choices of can you find the edge of the curl, first right. of all, where to put the broom. And secondly, if you get it buried, a lot of pressure goes mm -hmm. to the opponent. Mm -hmm. There's still enough finished late to get to be around that guard for sure. It's just uh, if you go a little wider than Kelly is now, I think that's where it, it looks really straight. And the hack waders definitely track there for a little while. Well, you were talking earlier, Gus, about the you know, the expectation. When you think about Kelly Scott in that roar of the rings in 05, she makes the final and loses to Shannon Clyburn. We were standing right there. She was two up coming home, too, and, and played a really well curled end. It's just Shannon made a couple of wonderful shots for three, so it was a pretty disappointing finish. Warm that area up. It's uh, gliding. Okay. So further to that point, in 05, she gets within one game of going to the Olympics. And you would probably think to yourself, well, next time I'll be. Well, look what happened. Four years later, one and six, didn't qualify. So it can be a little bit fickle. Just that kind of week that you might have. Right? And you never know if the 09 record is based a little bit on the expectations that came out of 2005. And that's why you have to be so careful when you plan for these events. You just look at performing your best and you have to let go of all the baggage that comes along with the history, things that happened in the past. Now in Rene Sonnenberg, she has a couple of uh, Alberta titles to her credit, 1999-2001. But, Lindy, she's taken up some coaching. Well, you know that she's a great skip and a smart person when somebody like Denmark has to coach at the Olympics, and that's what happened in 2010. And she worked with the women at the Olympics, and she really has a lot of knowledge to pass on. It was Angelina Jensen and her team in Vancouver. Handle slip just back of the tee line, shot stone. Yeah, you too. Perfectionist. Nice you heard Renee yelling whoa at the last second because in front of the T-line would have made, made it even tougher. There is now is room for Ke oh, Kelly to okay. snuggle one in there. This line came so perfect at the end. I know. <laughs> it's all good. We should discuss the good Yes, <laughs> as you were going, I was like, oh, shoot. I'm playing the freeze. <laughs> yes, you should discuss those first, <laughs> <laughs> whether or not you're freezing or drawing top button. And just the button available, though, for Kelly. She added on that one. No, no, no. Nine. No. Got a bend. I don't know if this is ever going to come back. One red. One red it is. And so that little bit of aggressiveness to start by Rene Sonnenberg pays off with a steal of one in the first. We're in Kitchener. The MTS Center in Winnipeg will host the Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings, the Canadian Curling Trials. And for tickets, go to curling.ca slash tickets. Always a wonderfully exciting event occurring just every four years. And it's a beautiful building. And one of these two teams tonight will be there. Steal of one by Rene Sonnenberg in the first. So once again, it will be Kelly Scott that has the last rock. She'll have the hammer playing the Yellowstones here in two. And so pulling the string, Sarah Wozniak. What did you think of Sonnenberg's aggressiveness, Linda? 
something. Yeah, I think Renee you. played a great yeah, first right? end. It, we great talk about the little things that can do well or can hurt you, and in the first end, there was a pretty big brushing error on Kelly Scott's first rock, and it doesn't look bad at first. It's in the forefoot, Eight. but if that had been top forefoot, if they hadn't brushed it quite as much, then Renee didn't have the shot. So that's where the biggest mistake, mistake came for Kelly Scott's team. Of course, she missed the last draw. Yeah, but uh, now the hogged rock. So Scott team just not very sharp at nope. the moment. Hey, a girl. Did you get that? Three nine. Okay, Sarah. Ten. Nine eight ten. Kelly recognizes that she needs to do something to generate the extra point, and she had the benefit this end of the first one of the end played by the Sonnenberg team just being top 12. Nice. If it had been in the forefoot, she actually might have made it some sort of play, tap or hit it. But that was a great chance to get the corner guard in position, and now you've lost that big opportunity by them putting a second one in. Was looking for the roll in behind, doesn't get it. Keep it clean out here. You got her. Renee will be content to hit and stay as many times as they can and try to force Scott to a single. There will be double opportunities Please. here eventually. Yes. Yes. Clean. Whoa, easy. Easy. Whoa, running, running, running. Whoa. Whoa. Wait's really nice. It's got to finish. Oh, we're out. Come on. Nine, a girl. It's good. Rolls it away to the 12 foot. Okay. Nine. Nine. Something here? This is the second time I did that. Nine. Just a little firm. Sasha Carter, along with Kelly Scott, yep, have yep. Whoa, won eight whoa, 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 whoa. BC women's titles. Watch your roll, Sarah. <laughs> Very nice roll to group the stones. You either get a mistake or possibly even be looking at a blank now. This may be not a fair question to ask, Linda, since you came out of BC yourself. But uh oh, no. I just I mean, look at nine. when you think about it, Julie Skinner, Please, uh, nine. Kelly Law. There's some, there have been some really terrific teams that have come out and been successful. Would you say, uh, or is it a different era that Scott is the best to ever come out of the province? It's hard to say, Vic. I'm always uh, a little hesitant about these best kind ever kind of Right, because your era was a little different in terms of st in terms of equipment and ice and anything like that, right? Well, and that, and that not everybody wants to keep playing as long as some people. If right. you talk about longevity and the number of appearances, that's one measure. And then it's just within the time that someone attempted to be at their very best, how they did. Kelly Scott is definitely one of the best ever to play in our province. No, I agree with you. I think those sometimes those comparisons are unfair. That's why I. That's why you asked. Prefaced it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but I mean, it's actually there, just at the end. You you played long enough. Five. Russ, and this is a compliment. We're in a little tighter. I think I just need to. You played long enough to see the game move, the the evolution of the game, from even I think a corn broom era, mm -hmm. right through to. You're still on the ice occasionally. I know right. that. So you've seen it. You've seen that. All that. Is, does the biggest compliment have to go to the teams that made the adjustments through the years? Is, do you know where I'm going with this? And yeah, in terms yeah. of a, being able to to stay with it and go, okay, well, boy, the conditions have changed. The equipment has changed. The fitness has changed. To be successful, the rocks, the strategy. You're absolutely right. It's really different. It's, it's you're still throwing at the same distance at the same target, but with these type of rocks now, the hits don't curl if you throw them really hard at all. So that's changed the game totally. The, the peeling is much easier. The draw weight's easier because the ice conditions for these wonderful ice makers is amazing. So the come around game has become more important again. And you just look at the scores and back in the uh, 70s, 80s, maybe even the mid 90s, it was nothing to win a game 3-1 or 2-1. Oh. And, and uh, now, like I was watching online before we got here day one, there, a couple of the games were at like 10-9 and 
11 8 and there's a lot more rocks in play a lot more thinking a lot more strategy it's a battle of the angles and you have to be all four players have to be a lot sharper with the rock positioning as we play up and down the ice here in the second the one other thing Linda, is i think i mean and you're right comes back to if you indeed you want to play and you still love and you have the desire to play but i think about the the players glenn howard for example kevin martin it's one thing to play the game but what they've done also is changed they've become more physically active they realize that to play the game they have to be in better shape they're with personal trainers the that evolution of the game too has changed dramatically yes definitely we have mental trainers uh, fitness programs and i think it, every so often there's a team that comes along and raises the bar uh, Kevin Martin definitely did it with the business approach to the Olympics in Vancouver and the way they assembled the team and the commitment that they made. And that team then pushes everybody else to do similar things to be their best. And then you see a lot of catch up happen. Yes. And we have a lot of teams now that are fully committed to doing all aspects of training. And that's why they're the very best. Hard, hard, hard. Right up, right up, right Trying to keep this yellow one on that same side of the sheet, close to the other red. Good girl. Ten two. And they rolled it away. Center line, back eight. I expected that to run straight. Yeah. They've been a little on the full side, like even. How many times did you ever get together, Linda, as a team during the summer? Or did you shut it down? I mean, today you see. Well, this team got together for a, a week or a good weekend in August to keep themselves sharp, both physically and mentally. Yeah, well, we were fortunate. We did play in the Olympics demonstration sport that it was. So we had access to physical training and mental preparation. And so definitely in the latter part of when I was playing, we did the whole mm. thing. It uh, wasn't as common leading up to that time. Basically, your season ended and you put the shoes in the bag and yeah, exactly. got them in September again. But you didn't have a lot of access to resources. There weren't a lot of places to play if you wanted to hit the ice and definitely not as many resources as far as support people. Oh, it's to curl. And there's the touch. Can't hold the shooter. And there's the out. So the opportunity yeah, gone to just possibly release. force. Yeah, just, yeah, you. In fact, I thought you'd already let it go, and then it just. <laughs> oh no! Apparently just, not. <laughs> to Linda's He's point earlier playing. today, it's uh, they're, they're they're joking about it. All the top teams have learned to throw the rock out, get it out crisp, get it get it almost not an outward motion, but stop it from curling early motion. And in these straight spots, sometimes they uh, they overdo it and they'll track on them a little bit. The last words from Gina are, this is a straight spot, Kelly, and I'm not sure about the ice, and that's exactly what's happened. A little bit out, and it will wow. not come back. So you're given the chance, and you hand it right back. And now the force is back on. So just a bit of a set, but dead straight. Dead straight like, and I yeah. think he got worse halfway down, so. I thought that would almost like come up, like I wanted to make sure I was out to you. Hmm. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 13 is great. Okay. So similar to my first one last time. Uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, that was 13 yeah. eight. People get more curl here. I really okay. like it that like it's a little bit yeah. tricky. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not yeah. impossible to read. There's, there, of course, we've been on the sheet both, all three games, so it's a, we've got a bit of an advantage. But you, you have to really be watching and. Uh, map out every spot and to your point Linda with this draw to the button now everybody throws draw the button draw the button they don't get a chance to read the sheet before the game starts I'm a little surprised that there weren't some form of scouts for both of these teams yeah. doing the mapping because they've seen it uh, now we've had two games on this ice today and it would have been fairly simple for people to watch and we do know the spots we've seen most of the sheet even including that one on the far side frosty out there good under your hand yeah yeah it'll come up Oh, I curled a ton. Yeah, that's just because it's fresh there. Yeah. Like you were right out to the broom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
playing the hit. Yep. Just a little more, Gina. I'll go like 10-2. If you have to, if it tracks like the last one, you can uh, play the double, but dead on's fine. She's going to bring the weight down a little bit, she said. Final stone here into. Ten and a half. Yeah. Clean. 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 Yeah, to it. Yeah, clean. Looks good. Nice shot. That is good. Good for a single, but it could have been better. Scott had the chance to blank. Forced to take the single for tied at one. Well, several of the former Kitchener Rangers, such as Paul Coffey, have been inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. And coming up on Monday, Chris Chelios, Scott Niedermeyer, Brendan Shanahan are among those who will be forever enshrined in Hockey's Hallowed Hall. You can watch the induction ceremony live Monday on TSN 2 at 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific. We are at Kitchener Memorial Auditorium, home of the Rangers. We began playing here back in 1963. This building, though, dates back to 1951. The Mini Maple Leaf Gardens, they call it. As we welcome you back on this Saturday night in a 1-1 tie. And for the first time in the game, it will be Renee Sonnenberg from the Grand Prairie Curling Club that has the last rock. She has the hammer playing the Red Stones. Weight's real good. Seven, there was two big five, unforced five, errors by the Scott uh, team last end. The hard there. guard Rena and the open down. miss by eight, Kelly Scott. Eight, they do nine, look like nine, they have a bit of rust nine, since they haven't played for nine, a couple nine, of days. Nine, nine, this is an opening for them. There is the guard up in front, and this is curling six feet. Look, look what the guard is. The guard is actually overcurled the center line by good. a good foot and a half. We know that they've been missing on the other side. So the whole sheet, if you can, one way to memorize uh, reading ice is to visualize what's happened so far. And everything's leaning to our left as we look down the sheet. So big curl on the out turn, straighter in the intern. Yep. Like the same weight you just threw is probably a 10. Not a lot less ice to try and play a tap either. To oh. A little soft. Yeah. A little soft. Line, line. line tight. Yeah, for line. Go, 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 go. Really hard for line. We're straight really, really hard. Gotta straight go. Drive. Gotta go hard. There it goes. Hard. Rub the top hard. Split it open. Go, go, go. Roll it Roll it on. Go, 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 go. You can, you can. Go, go, go. Okay. Not quite okay. able to spin it in. Another one of those times it's just hard to believe sometimes, mm -hmm. and yeah. that's the curl. You every shot have to trust the broom and trust the call. So slide it with the right weight and just let it go cleanly. It's up to the skip to then adjust the broom. T would be four and a half here. You can think that, yeah. Okay. This is that spot. If this is out wide enough, any, any outward motion here, this might not curl enough. Maybe sweep it early. Clean where? Three. Whoa line for three. Whoa. Whoa Two line. Okay, just starting to go now. Should just finish. Close, just clean. Close just three. clean. Close close three. Three. Yeah. Just clean. No, line's real good. Let it sit. Very nice. Good call. Nice one. And good it job. will sit, plugging up that hole. Shot stone belonging to Time Kelly to Scott peel, without care. last rock sitting at the back edge peel. of the button. Tough double peel too, Vic. You know, it's a pretty good chance you could run this yellow onto the red and the yellow stays guarding the shot rock. These angles are tough to call. I find you're right. Most people don't give it enough angle. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty thin. Yeah, really hard. You hit it thicker than you're supposed to. Hard. Good jam. Hard. Hard. Whoa, whoa. Terry Ann McTaggart. Watch your back. I'm watching. Tick, tick. And he'll kill her own at the back. And so now. Scott on that, sitting two without. Well, that was a long way off the peel, but a bit of a bad break on the way it came and did not touch that yellow, went cleanly by it to get the red. <laughs> Just. Now look at the ice for Kelly. She wants to get to the center line. She's taking a little more than five and a half feet here. That should be good. Yeah. It's probably minimum ice too. I think you could almost go edge of the uh, 12 and still make this shot. Okay, 
Okay, I've, nice, I've yeah. pushed it out. Two and a half. Two and a half is fine. Where, guys? Two and a half. Past the red. No, no. Okay, That's going to keep going. I don't right think you want to keep brushing it. it. Little rub on the red. Sack yep. of peas. Yep. 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 Go, go, Sack go, of peas. Go, 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 go. Okay. So further to your point, you're right. That stone, if it doesn't clobber the uh, red, probably yes, goes another knows. foot. Yeah, exactly. You could have gone out to the edge. Oh, oh. Or if it had been three feet heavier, yeah, it would have gone around the red yeah. one and been totally uh, useless as, as a guard. That's hard to control out there, and I even pushed her out a bit. There it is. But they're the catching first. on. They're starting to figure it out. But who's going to do yeah, it first? That's the key. Opens up that center line. Good. Scott continues to sit the two. Three. You can pretty much have my eyes, I think. Yeah. Like this way. <laughs> I think this is the more manageable mm -hmm. curl. Yes, yeah. And you can get out to her, a mm -hmm. three L curl. I heard John Morris make the comment that he loved this spot because it just stayed straight, stayed, stayed, stayed and then it finally at the maybe hog line in made that nice big move. Whereas the other turn's moving all the way. Two, two and a half. Okay, a little bit of room. Lot of three, three, two. Two. Lots yeah. of line. You're going to bring it. Line's getting better. Okay, well, not not no. easy. Clean. Just easy. a two. Yeah, easy. hard, 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 all you got. Hard, hard, all you got. Go, go, go. Good. When it's lighter like that, it, you do have to really take it, try and get as much bend as you can. And the fact that it's longer, Gina left it a little shorter so than they wanted. Want? That meant that uh, there's width. room to get okay. by. So what do we think here? 80. 80. Okay. Both on the same page. Okay. Right up the yeah. blue one. <laughs> I think 80 gets me there. I think Pretty so. Easy. Yeah. So. Got a curl. Six. Six. Yep. Real, real, whoa, no line, no lines. Okay, lines there no now. No line. good. Lines good. Seven. Okay, We're going to leave it. Little tap. Just, yep, yep, for line. Yes, for line. Little tap. Yeah, I hear you. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Little tap, move it back, shot. sit for shot. Nice Got a girl care. Sitting for shot, and there's some backing. Both teams are zoning in on what this it's does not now. As as this side, yeah. People have tapped us a little bit, sit a couple, or just corner the corner on the button. Six. Okay, oh. hey, you can go then. Six. Six. Run a little bit. Clean it. Real good. Clean it. Line's good. Line's great, guys. Five. Right to it. Wozni on the left, Carter on the right, Race calling out hard six, hard line, hard line, which would be line, top line, four go, weight. Go, 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 go. Good shot. And then right to it. They do it all the way down. Nice throw, Gina. Team five, Wozni. Okay. So I can, it's now probably close to the other side. Good shot. Okay. So yeah. do you want right to it or do you arm on? No, just full eight. Full, full eight? eight. Okay. okay. 95. Okay. 90. I'm going to think. Okay, I like it. Just a tight guard here. You got her. Get a little bit of it buried underneath the center guard, then it can't be raised. A lot more shots being made by the Scott team, and the, this is going to be really five, tough now for Renee to set nine. up anything more than that one that's already in there. Four, four five. Five. Line's good. Line's really good. Right to my broom. There. It's there. going got very hard. Five. Got a little room. Right to room, maybe to the yellow. No, 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 it can't be on. No, 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 no. no that's good. Sit. Okay, it's okay. five. Tap eight. Tap eight. Yeah. Good job. That side. Okay. Eight. Like on the nose. It's that situation. Where do I put this one? Yeah. <laughs> 
Kelly's going to play the same thing with just a tad more weight. Play a double tap right onto yellow and just try to get shot rock. And I can also watch the angle they leave on the shooter, the one Kelly's about to throw, and the red one that they're tapping first and try and make it harder for anything then to go in. I thought uh, Rene Sonnenberg uh, said something interesting to uh, Bonnie McDonald. You know, it's one of those situations where where do we put this now? Is it one of those that you have to be careful not to put it in a spot that could hurt you? Well, bringing it that close does leave this shot for Kelly. Now, as I say, you have to watch the angles even if you're Kelly playing this tap. But if that had been a longer guard, this would be a much more difficult situation for Kelly. Skip Stones here in the third. Wait a bit. Kelly Scott, her first. Line good, you can go. Nine. Yep, Gina. Line. Yep. Hard. Yep. yep. Hard. Tap, tap, and have a look. Uh, did she move it enough? It looks like she did. Looks like Scott is now the shot stone. Top of the button. <laughs> that dude down here. Whack them on. I think that a top bridge should be out of the forefoot anyway. Better not to. There's no doubt. Okay, so 11? No. Oh, seconds? Okay. Still a little bit of an angle here for Rennie. The yellow red combo will probably pick this rock out and move it in that direction, but certainly the red one right here will probably go to play if there's any weight thrown. Plus, the yellow will probably stay the one that was just thrown by Kelly Scott. Because if we hit it, we kill it. We're going to send that more that way. We've got to hit this this way. Get ready to go on that. But if I hit it on the nose, then like doesn't that go more that way? Sharper? I need to They're hit it. They're pretty close together. Okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's go and touch high. We can, it's, touch high it's easier is good. to call. Ten. Okay. Right there? Looks good. That looks really okay. good. Just high, though, Red. Ten, yeah. Just high, yeah. The danger here, I think, is uh, the shot, making the shot's not all that difficult, but where does the shooter go? If the shooter rolls wide open, Kelly might have an in off the shooter. Okay, okay. That's why I was mentioning about Kelly. You think about the shot you're trying to make, the outcome, moving your own stone closer, but you always have to look at the angles, not just what you make, it's what you leave. You got it. Straight up, all broom. No lack of curl in this spot either. Ten, Please. nine, eight. Close. Renee Close. Sonnenberg yep. in her first. Yep. Clean. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just clean, clean, clean. Ten. Yep. Yep. Hard. Right up. Harder. Go, 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 go. Feathered the guard. Go, 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 go. go. Take that, take go, that. Go, 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 go. That's good. Very nice. Okay. Well, shot stone definitely now is Scott right on the pin. But there is that red center line, just top 12 that could be played back. Very nice. Sorry. That? That's right. Very nice. Yeah. Well, yeah hard, that's eh? the mm -hmm. setup shot that uh, Kelly's going to have to be concerned with for sure. Do you have the intern draw? Yeah. Like, we want to be on the side. As long as there's no hole, which yeah. is going to curl so much, so. Yeah. You can be way out there. Yeah. I'm taking away the top. Yeah. So what? <laughs> we've been. Yeah. But I think Frosty, it'll go. Well, there's it'll the difference. Like Remember earlier they were there? maybe I what? I think it'll go. Yeah. Halfway yeah. in the yeah, 12, say, they're yeah. almost right out to the yeah. edge. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Making that adjustment, reading the ice, that's great. Well, it's not bad. No heavier, eh? No. no. Not than what you just threw. Yeah. Didn't hear the weight call into maybe a two here, just a halfway. Yeah, I think so. They were mostly discussing the fact that this is out a little bit further, and did it change the path? Right. Gotta go. Gotta go. Hard lines getting better. Hard. What do you got? Easy. Yep. Easy. Easy. Over and off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, did that curl. 
this way out there. Did it do the job though? Yep. Yes, you it probably did. can take enough ice well, there. That's what like we it's gonna thinking. go. Yeah, it's gonna move. I don't think you can draw through this hole yeah, if you're Rennie yeah. because it'll to it'll curve too much, okay. but you might be able to throw a little bit of weight at it, maybe a back line weight, and that'll that'll keep it straighter and get like it past this one, past sure. this one, and through there. I think there is room. We're going to get to, I think we can get to the one on the button. Just tap it back. Through? Yeah. Okay. Try to thread that little needle there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the heck? Tough shot, but really? it might, might be for two. Wow. Yeah, that's a small opening. Nail it, Ryan. You got her. It's a small opening okay, and maybe yeah. the trickiest okay. spot on the ice. All right now is a stolen point for Kelly Scott. In a 1-1 one -one tie, final rock on the way. Please. Renee Sonnenberg. Carrie yes. Ann McTaggart. Rona Pasika. Hard for line. They've got to get it through this hole now. Stone is coming up really quickly, and they'll crash on the first stone they see. One yellow, one stolen point. Kelly Scott to take the lead. Welcome back on the Saturday night to complete our first day of coverage. Our featured game, Rene Sonnenberg against Kelly Scott. And Scott, with a steal of one in the third, takes the 2 1 lead as we go to the fourth. And once again, it'll be Sonnenberg and her team from Grand Prairie Curling Club that has the last rock. They have the hammer playing the red stones. Rona Pasika throws the lead stones for Sonnenberg. That looks all here. Okay, line's good. Well, it really was Kelly Scott's team playing much better the last okay, end. The first two ends, it looked like they've been off for two days, which they exactly. have. Last end, they were playing much better, and it really was also the one big mistake. The Sonnenberg second jammed appeal, and then Renee. things yes. went the wrong way for Renee. Yeah, nice adjustment on the ice reading from uh, Kelly Scott, and they, for the most part, have it figured out wrote nicely, certainly in that big outturn curl going down to the, uh, the, in the odd ends. Lots of line now, 3-4. Sarah Wozniak. Four's okay. Full line. A lot of line, guys. You need at least three. Hard line, hard line. Go for a biter now. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Every inch. Go hard line. Go, 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 go. Hard, hard, hard. Yeah. Okay. Good shot. Not quite over to cover it, Linda. No, and you know why Kelly's upset is they covered the wrong side. If you're going to leave an opening, you don't mind it so the other team rolls to the open side. You don't want them rolling behind the corner. Ten. Ten. We got lots. Queen. Medium. Quack. Very nice Good roll time. behind their own corner. Good way, Paul. Need the misguard. They paid for it already. Yeah. A beautiful hit and roll. Great. And they also believe they stuck with the brushing, even though it looked like it was way out to start. And got it in behind. So all Kelly Scott is going to do is peel. Sasha oh, Carter. Hard, Sarah. Good, Sash. We'll and rolls guys. the shooter across the center line guard. Gotta waste some. I don't know. Nope, let's do it. Okay, top four, hey? Yeah. Okay, so what do we want out here? 14.5. Okay, 14.3. I think 85, actually. We're talking about the interval times. Back line right there to the first hog line. Six. Three. Okay, line's tight line's a bit. Good. Yeah, you gotta hold it out there. You can't hurt it for weight. Five, four. Five. Gotta go. Gotta go. Okay, line's I'm good. Too. Line's good. Hard. Just to my broom. We're five. Just broom. to my broom. Six. Six. This is 
It's remarkable how much these stones do uh, swoop. Go, go, go! Right back, go, 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 a little more, a little more, a little more. And it finally lands, and it is totally covered. Great shot. Five feet. Yeah. Minimum five feet. It's true. And I'd argue the other turn would curl more than that, too. Certainly going to the far end, it does. That's the straightest spot coming home. Beautiful surface. It's just great to see the all the curlers love the curl. It's just it's just figuring it out. I and mean, I, I mentioned uh, this afternoon that the men usually play with a little bit more curl in these arenas than the uh, women's team. So it's a bit of more of an adjustment for these two teams. Hard, hard. Yes, go, 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 Sarah. Good Trying trip. to roll it over. Do I need to think a nine eight out here? Or I'll just throw a ten. No, I think uh, yeah. Yeah, just throw a ten. Yeah. <laughs> you got that part. Yeah. <laughs> Make it nine and a half. Oh, okay. The gentleman that is uh yeah. responsible for this ice surface. Yeah, you're waiting. Jamie Barassa out of Calgary. Jamie's on this phone there, he's not asleep. Wait's good. <laughs> He's checked, he's checked, yeah, that's right, he's checking the numbers of the, uh, probably the temperature of all those spots. There's little sensors all over the arena for, oh, look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's good. Their initial thought, though, was to just flip it the other way, correct, on this shot? Yes, yeah, yeah, to roll open, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Well, the one is really perfectly positioned spot. behind cover, so what uh, Renee is thinking is if I just leave one <laughs> wide open, Kelly Scott will play around with it because mm -hmm. she can't risk trying any run back. And then I'll have an easy deuce. But uh, that one rolled a little bit differently. So Kelly has a tricky shot. But try to sit in the forefoot with this one. Ten and a half. Queen, yep. Ten and a yep. half. Hard. Hard. Clean, clean, clean. Very nice. Good shot. Good. Yeah. Yep. We talked earlier about how the game has changed. This is another way. The computerization of the game. And for Jamie Barasa, that's what he's checking. He has the uh, little thermometers throughout the uh, ice surface. And he can see exactly where maybe the brine that keeps the ice frozen isn't working quite properly. And those adjustments can be made. He asked me earlier really about the difference in the curling. Vic, that's one of the biggest ones. These wonderful world-class ice makers we have now. That this, is, this building's been difficult for Jamie. And it took him a while to figure it out, but it's really good. They, they put a whole bunch of um, cover sheets up at the top to stop the airflow. That, that particular sheet, sheet A, uh, the rocks were actually melting in at one point because the, there was so much breeze coming down, knocking the... Uh, the heat onto the ice that causes frost to mint every building they come into they have to learn it get the air patterns the airflow and and uh Ten. really figure it out so that these players can play as well as they can and this one's a challenge it's one of those buildings that's asymmetrical one side of the stands is taller so they try and drape it so that it simulates similar conditions side to side but it's tough yeah, good throw come on good throw <laughs> This reminds me when you talk about buildings with one side higher than the other, the Ottawa Civic Center. Absolutely. Yeah. Underneath the uh, football stadium. But every different building, different floor, air mass is a new challenge. No, no. Ten. Clean. Wait's nice. Yep. yep. I moved. Yep. yep. Whoa. Hard. Yep. Very nice. Well done. Hey, the execution is pretty good here for Sonnenberg, okay. trying to save it. Great throw. Set up her possible deuce if she can keep them separated. Yeah, the play is definitely improving when you think of the fact that one guard was just a little bit off, and that was immediately pounced on by Renee, who got the roll behind her own guard. And she's setting up a deuce very nicely. It curls all the way and then finishes hog lining.
was it, Nai? Well, for Kelly Scott, she's been perfect so far. Started last Tuesday. Beat a former Olympian in Shannon Clivering, Ontario champion in Krista McCarvel. Beat Renee Sonnenberg as well to advance to the championship round. And here they are hooking up again for that first spot. First of two available in Winnipeg. <laughs> Starting in the fast. Kind of weight would I throw here for back? Four tea? and a quarter to T. Four and a quarter to T. You want to be yeah. eight? Yeah. Four I, I, I want to bite back eight foot. Okay. So that she doesn't have two options on this one draw to the open side which yeah. is the choice and that's the like whole thing about preserving the deuce uh, not I taking any chances left. the other one that would be a little risky is trying to come around those two rocks that are already in the house it's true and then you might score three When you take a look at Renee Sonnenberg, she's got off to a terrific start. Winner over Barb Spencer, former Manitoba champion. Then lost to Kelly Scott. Bounces back with two straight wins to take the B-side event. It was a three knockout format here, three loss format. And so that's why you had a winner, a B winner, and two teams coming out of uh, the, uh, the C-side. Rolls. Best you could do to shrink the scoring area a little bit. All right. Both of those held fine. Are you uh, liking that first rock still? Oh, sure. First one. I, I think they're fine. I think it's just spots. Okay. Like I made that first draw yes. back yeah. wing. And then I flashed and then I rolled out, but. Well, I'm not sure if it applies, but let's design. think back to the game okay. earlier today between uh, Morris and Jacobs. Jim Cotter throwing the fourth stone. They thought, in fact, he may have a bad stone. Are they playing with the same set of rocks? Yes, Kelly's cause playing with the yellow ones. Now, the only thing is they're discussing her first stone, and she's made two out of four perfectly. So mm. it's not quite the no. same as the scenario we had where Jim Mine's wasn't good. making anything. Okay. So that's when I know it's hard to make the change. Yeah. My guess it's ice reading, Linda, but the, the flash in the second end wide it was a very straight spot. So I'm not sure you could blame it on the rock. Okay, we're okay. 14-5, 7. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have a girl. Nice. Red. Yeah. Well played in for Rene Sonnenberg and the entire team. They bounce back after giving up the steal to score a couple and take a 3 2 lead. Saturday night in Kitchener, Ontario. This is the Road to the Roar. Two Fields of uh, 10 or 12 teams, men and women, began play last Tuesday for the two remaining spots in Winnipeg for the Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings. John Morris qualified earlier today to fill one of the men's spots. Tonight's winner will take one of the women's two remaining openings and will decide and fill the field tomorrow. Good, sir. 3-2, Rene Sonnenberg leads as we go to five. And not bad. Ten. It's Kelly There's Scott that has the last rock playing Tied the yellow three. stones. Okay, not four. I'd prefer a four than a two. Okay. 
Nail so a three. Me, let's nail a three. Like I like the three. Your yeah. rock's in a really good spot. Makes a huge difference in this spot as far as uh, whether or not it's a long guard, middle guard, or tight guard We're for where she puts the broom. Two, three, three. It really and is straight really to start, good. so the more time it has to travel, good. the more it curls, of course, and that's why they have to get that very center. clear yeah, as to where three. this is going to go. Okay. Oh, curling! Mine's really good. Really three. curling. Yep, you gotta go a bit. I want it tighter than that. <laughs> Tight three. Go, 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 go! Wolf line, wolf line, wolf line, wolf. Okay, very nice. It's hard with that 15, line. 15, 9, Lonnie. Mm -hmm. I got a 4, 7 on hers, her draw. First Top one. 8, yeah. Yeah. You're good. We're good. Six. Might be a bit hot. Okay. Hey, you gotta wait Five. Down. Weight's no real line. good, actually. No, no Five, line. six. It's running. No, no, no. 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 Weight's perfect. No. No. Weight's real okay, good. Okay, here it comes. It's coming. Let it curl off, 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 off. Good shot, Sarah. Wow. For the longest time, this was that uh, straight spot, yeah. remember? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it just stays there forever, and you just you almost want to give up on it, and then the way it goes at the hog line. Right no sweeping. Beautiful shot. Andy? Four great yeah. stones here already. All there. Yeah. Seven, eight. Okay. Well, Looking for angles, and this is when it does get a little bit challenging. You're playing down the same spot for the same player. So you have a pretty good feel for what their stone will do. Now you go to the new player, moving up a level, and you're going to get a little bit different movement. You want a bonus for line, yeah. Nice weight. Yep, yep, for line, 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 line. Atta girl, Carrie. Very nice. Good judge, you guys. There's that illusion again. It was out so wide. You hear Rennie said, do you think we can go around it? Now look where it is. It's buried right underneath. It wasn't even close to going around it. Across the yellow. Yeah. Amazing. I'm thinking guard, but running the guard, no. Through? Running the guard through, and if I peel it, I peel it. If you yeah. clip that or clip that on the way by. Yeah. Yeah. Early, I think early side. Early it's side, yeah. Sarah's side. Eight it's just and a so half. early with my first okay. to be freezing yep. to a top 12. No, I agree. <laughs> what am this I is where the, I half. talked about Kelly Scott's team gets into a little bit of trouble sometimes. They wait a bit too long mm -hmm. to make the play. If you back up from your last shot, how many times it's going to get, uh, you're going to need to get at shot rock or get into that yeah. forefoot. Yeah, gotta go. Well, that's tough enough. And then if you say you want to try gotta and set go. up a deuce on top of that, oh! you need some room to do it. Run it back, and it's going to squirt their own stone and leave Sonnenberg sitting the two without last rock. Mm. So same weight. Really, really wrong side seven. of that one. Okay. I have more ice. Okay. Okay, same weight then. Same weight, yeah. Okay. To get around that top yeah. red. Yeah. But we can be a five, six here. Yeah. We don't need to do anything fancy. Yelling out the tolerance, 5 6, meaning just uh, short of the four foot doesn't have to be right to the button. Seven. Okay, last thing you want to do in this situation is be line behind that T line. Okay, we got lots of room. We got oh, lots my. of weight. Nine. Yeah. Just running. Okay. 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 Nine, ten, even. Okay. It's going to come down when back it Back here then? I think we're to your broom or we're off. Okay. Yeah, make sure you're back here. We can't leave him something to hit and freeze on. All you can, Rona. Go, 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 go. That's good. All right. Sorry, Ren, I thought it'd be deeper. 15. Well, that shows that once it curls, it takes a lot of the speed off. They're calling it 10. That's a back 12-foot stone, and it ended just back yeah, it's four. That's up to you if you want to get rid of that front. I, uh, I don't mind that side one. Yeah, hit it on this side. Right I heard somebody say I don't mind the side one. That's the half. one just biting Same the edge of the forefoot on the left. Mm -hmm. I think if you're going to have those conversations, you should do it a, maybe a little more formally in the same position. Because calling up and down the ice, I don't think they were really mm -hmm. communicating much. Mm -hmm. Ended up with the run back. I think this is the right call if you make it. If you, if you miss this high side, they're in big trouble. Yeah. Run it back. 
Uh, yeah. And she'll just touch that stone at the back edge of the four. Does open it up, but it's still Sonnenberg sitting three. I can't guard all three. <laughs> what if we tap that yeah. one top 12? I'm worried about their hit and roll, but it. I am. Be... Whatever you like. We could do this. I don't mind that. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Do you like that? Do you like that better than your first call? Yep. Okay. What do you think I need to do? 85? 85. I'm just worried. Then we're bringing the play in right now. Aren't you you know what I mean? Yeah. Come and. Do we want a timeout or no? No. Like, I, I just think if we bring the play in, they're tapping, they're hitting, okay. where we're going to yeah. have to worry about ours at the back. Yeah, so if we just so put a guard, they're going to have to play it again. Even if they do make that, we've still got the come around okay. freeze I, I, to get I, in their way. Okay, let's play. I have no problem. Like, I understand what you're saying, how we're going to give them off. Well, so. yeah, they're just, we're bringing yeah. it in, and they yeah. got all kinds okay. of stuff to sit in front of us. Is let's that be, good? Yeah, yeah, so we're a three. A three. Yeah, three, three, four, three. Two and a half, three. Okay. I like a little tighter than that. A little tighter? Are they uh, legitimate concerns yeah. that Renee Sonnenberg has? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, her point is, if you bring it in, there's yes, there's four red in there, but with no guards, the chance of actually stealing her get a little bit slimmer. But by throwing a guard in the center here, you, Kelly could play that double, that thin double at the back, or hit and roll in, and then you've just guarded Kelly Scott's rock. So it's kind of like uh, pick your poison. Guard it, Linda. It'd have to be pretty tight. Maybe three. top 12 or close to a three. Yeah, it really does Mine's matter what you girl. want them to play. As uh, yeah, Renee bit. said, if you bring it in, they're going to hit. Well, bring it top 12. It'd be interesting easy. to see what they actually did. Three. Sit. No, 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 no. It, two and a half. Good call. Care. Nice eyes. I think you might see them run at the double now. Did you ever play shots like that, Linda? Just to see what the other team would do, or did everything have a, a plan? No, it has a plan for sure. And I, I guess if I was guarding, I don't think I'd guard the one they did guard. I think mm. I would be thinking about guarding this, this one. This one, yeah. Whereas uh, Russ said bringing in closer. Now, again, this has to be made. And at this point, Kelly Scott seems to be struggling yeah. with this ice. Yeah, it's going to curl. You just know they have to sweep this one. Look at that. Now they didn't quite push it out the back, but they got a, the inside roll as well, and so they're sitting shot stone. Beautiful double, and now that guard that was thrown all of a sudden is not the right call. You did hear Renee say if the double was made, the rock would be deep and the mm -hmm. freeze was available. True. So she did think this part through. Well, that means that you do need Lonnie to make this freeze. Line, yeah, well played freezer line. can turn this end around again. Nice. Wait to it. That line's good. Wall line, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, yeah. Wait to it. Clean wait it for soon. it. Actually, no, we're good. Okay, Seven. good. Oh. Line's really good. Want to switch? Nope. Yeah, right go, here. Go, go, right. go, go. Full button, full button. Go, 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 go. Hard, hard, hard. Hard. Yeah. Or not. I don't think so. I don't think you got there for shot stone. It's in a great spot, though. Five zero on that. Good shot. Good sweep, girls. Nice shot. Oh, they believe they're shot. It's Get awfully close. Over. I think How yellow's still the I shot got? rock. Uh, top four to back button. Quarter to half. Up to no so that's not yeah you can take a look no, this is better than the three quarter jam jam yeah. roll hack up to you if you want to go look at it yeah. we have time yeah hack kind of like the tick weight we saw uh, Ryan Fry throw a bullet down this spot, missed quite wide, and now he, he must have just shoved it out a little bit. But any extra speed here, I don't know whether this will come up enough. 
They're just calling what back line-ish? I think it was hack. Okay. Clean. Just, just hack! Yep. Nice We're soft way that shit curl. Way. Yep! Back line! Hang! Clean! No! 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 no. Yep. Yep. yep! 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 Just Shooter. tip it! Oh, the G. He just didn't okay. hold it enough to hit it thinly enough to pass it by that stone at the back four. And now there's no doubt that it is Sonnenberg sitting the one. It's Sorry, another one. I think it's that. thinner than you it's think. Throw. They're yeah. so close yeah. together. That's a pretty thin slice across with very soft weight. A tough shot to make. It's so straight the other way. Yeah. I think this is fine. Okay. Ten. Okay. Even if we hit it thin and come to here, that's okay. not the end yeah, of the Yeah, we just got to make it go away. Like, yeah. what, is nose the end of the world? I'd prefer not. Okay. You prefer to roll in. Because it's the way of my freeze if she makes this. Okay. See so, ya. Yeah, we're okay. good. Kay. Ten. I like it. Ten. See that red one on the right-hand side? Kelly can come in mm -hmm. off of that and get to the inside well, of that. Maybe the shot right rocks. Okay. So Renee's going to um, try to take that away with a roll. And you want to roll to T or to center line? Yeah. Ooh, Kelly, that Kelly I Scott's going to be able to come down here. It's not that way and tap that out. So okay. the best way to defend that is a it's nice little roll here. Come down, hit it, roll okay. over so into that area. Roll this right to center line. Just over center line. And we know this curls. Okay. Ten. Ten. Okay. It still looks like a lot. I don't mind a hair less, Ren. Hair less. Let's make sure. Okay. It's good. We'll help you. You've got to trust the curl too. It's there. Yeah, let's you go. You got her. You've got to trust the curl lifter. Sometimes it's here more often said you've got to believe the ice that it's going to go. You have to believe the ice and trust the broom you put down. And right on the nose. Go, 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 go. Take out their own at the back. But they're sitting the three without last rock here in five. Yeah, shoot it. Nice way, yeah. though. It's, it, that's okay, right? Yeah, like no, it's that. fine. <laughs> Hard to air it out there and sweep when you don't have a piece. Yeah. We've seen it now. Yep. Take the draw away and we'll... Close to an 11. Okay. <coughs> Had a rule right under there. Yep. 11. A couple of options here. Hit about half of it, roll buried, or hit it really thin and make the double. Big shot. You don't want to, uh, even if you hit it dead on, you're in a bit of trouble. Try to be aggressive on the roll. Ten and a half. Yep, queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kelly Scott, oh. her first. She does have the last rock. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Hard, Sarah. Go, 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 go! Now there's the roll over. We're far, far enough. Good. Very nice. Nice call, Jim. Really close. Ah, good right. sweeping. Sweet. Good shot. First glance, it looks like it might be the stone still at the back. It's close. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not too bad. Really held that didn't seemed to surprise them that yeah. uh, it was straight there. We, yeah. Try to get board. <laughs> board? Board, yeah. Now they, we know it's a straight spot. Do you think the brushing would have backed it up a bit too? I think so, more than they expected because right. it was a bit, a bit of a panic sweep early Try thinking it was close. a little tight. And, yeah, we, got air. Uh, we all know that spot's pretty straight. Can Renee get to the nose? If you can hit this dead on, uh, Kelly's going to have a tough Aaron. one. All room. Half a rock's a disaster. It'll jam onto their own. So this is a tough shot. It's to hit at least three quarters of this, hopefully on the nose. At some point, this will curl, Linda. I think. Yeah, close enough to the center line. Wait, three. Yep. Yeah. Eleven. Right on. Clean, 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 clean. clean. Oh. Lots of weight. No. No, no, no. Right on. Yellow care. I thought Hard. it. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Okay, and nice. did well. Yeah. 
sweet chocolate. Yeah. Sweet ten eight. Thanks. Nice sweet. Uh, ten eight, you silly dog. <laughs> you can just make it however you'd like to. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. We'll talk about what I threw out yeah. there. <laughs> Next time, let's hit our weight. <laughs> Good throw. Yeah. It actually worked out better. It worked out re okay, yeah. No, I, it's Facing it's three. Finish curl. I'm just gonna throw a normal ten. Just what Gina had. Okay. Actually, Kelly might yeah. throw a draw shot at this. Stay close. Yeah. Just yeah. a firm draw, Linda. Kind of this tight ice. If it, any inward motion or it's a little bit light, it's gone. And then the opposite we saw. You actually add a little bit of weight and get mm -hmm, it out, mm -hmm. and it actually doesn't curl as much. Right. So. Uh, I agree. I think this in-between weight is the toughest. Final stone for the yeah. two-time Canadian and world Clean. champion, Kelly Clean. Scott. Yep. And Clean roll, roll, facing roll, roll. three. Yeah, to it! Yeah! Hard! Hard. Nice throw. Boy, very nice. Right to the nose to get her single point. The winner will go to Winnipeg to play for a spot in Sochi. We're all even. The 2013 Capital One Road to the Roar is brought to you by World Financial Group, creating a better tomorrow for families today. WFG. One more day here in Kitchener, and we're going to be on three different networks tomorrow. We're going to have the first playoff, Gushu against Laycock. That's on TSN at 9 a.m. At 2 p.m., we're going to have Val Sweeting against either Kelly Scott or Renee Sonnenberg for a spot in Winnipeg. That's on CTV2 stations across the country. And then TSN2 tomorrow evening at 7 to determine the final men's qualifying spot at the Roar of the Rings. The first men's spot in Winnipeg was determined earlier today with the reigning Canadian champion, Brad Jacobs, against John Morris. No longer playing with Kevin Martin, of course. Playing now with Jim Cotter. Morris skipping the team. Cotter throwing the fourth stones. And it came down to the tenth and a wonderful draw to catch the top of the forefoot. And so John Morris and his team are the first to qualify out of the road to the roar to Winnipeg. So Morris advances. Brad Jacobs will get another chance tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern time, against the winner of that Laycock Gushu game that we'll have on TSN Sunday at 9 a.m. So it's a bit different for John Morris no longer with Kevin Martin, and it's a whole new beginning. It wasn't a split, uh, split second decision. It was something that we, you know, over the last few years, and we, we weren't winning any, any major championships anymore. And Kevin, the dynamic Kevin and I uh, had was, you know, we just weren't making a lot of shots together. So um, it's something that I don't look at it negatively in any way. Uh, but we really didn't think we had a shot at the trials. Personally, I didn't, I didn't think we were going to go into those trials and win them um, like we felt going into the uh, 2009 trials. So, uh, yeah, it was a gamble, and, and, uh, but it's just something that, you know, in my, my sort of passion for the game was starting to leave me, and I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, want to uh, continue to play in the, uh, under those circumstances and just go through the motions. So um, it was really tough, especially, you know, Mark and Ben are two of my best friends, and uh, having to leave them was, you know, it was a tough decision. But I think it's uh, given both of us, uh, you know, refreshed both of us. And I think that uh, they've had a great year, and I think they'll have a great chance going into Winnipeg. And I think if we play our best, then we'll have uh, just as good of a chance going into. And, of course, David Nedouin, after all those years with Randy Furby, is now playing with Kevin Martin. We're in a 3-3 tie. Which one of these teams, Sonnenberg or Scott, will get their ticket to Winnipeg tonight. The 2013 Capital One Road to the Roar is brought to you by Scotty's Facial Tissue. Scotty's, the perfect touch. By M&M Meat Shops, frozen food at its best. And by Tim Hortons, always fresh, always great tasting coffee.
We're in a 3-3 tie after five, and uh, it's because of this key shot uh, facing three with her last, Kelly Scott. Well, hitting against three is never fun, and especially when you're one point down, you had to hang around here, so I, I didn't really like the weight choice, but if you're going to throw it as clean as Kelly does with the right rotation, perfect speed, it can be made. Great shot. The key shot is brought to you by Scotty's Tissue. The perfect touch of design and softness on this Saturday night. As we complete our first day of uh, coverage, we'll be with you again, of course, tomorrow. And so here in the sixth, it'll be Renee Sonnenberg and her team from the Grand Prairie Curling Club that has the last rock playing the Red Stones. If we talk about the first five, it really was only the third end where Kelly Scott had complete control of the end and stole a point. Otherwise, I thought Renee had better rock positioning and actually superior shot making in general. This end was sort of odd to begin with because Kelly Scott tried to play a, a center guard and it ended up more like a corner guard. Renee drew around it, but deep. So, so far to start the end, it's been a little strange. That last one is in a spot that Kelly likes right at center line. Kelly was going to call a come around with the second one and they changed their mind. I like it. I, I like where they put that yellow and it's a very usable rock later in the end. So, throw what I threw in my first three that games, eh? Yeah. So, still think you can make it too. Rona Pasika yeah. yeah. comes around that center guard and yeah. puts it right on the lid. Yeah. Second stones now, and this is Sasha Carter. We're tied at three, Linda, do, do the numbers tell that story? Well, I mentioned that the third end was Kelly Scott's end, and they made so many great shots, but I think overall it really has been Renee Sonnenberg with the better shot making, particularly those draws at 80% on their side, and a slight edge overall for the Sonnenberg team. The numbers after five are brought to you by Tim Hortons, Canada's favorite coffee. Ann McTaggart. No. Nine. Yeah. Yeah. Hard. Oh, no. Hard. Hard. Go. Hard. 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 Go, Lonnie. Go. That's good. Time care. care. Good shot. Nice angle there if they ever have a chance on the other turn. Top eight, top four. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah, so that was T kind of all on my own. Yeah. Right? See what Kelly's up to. They've got the center guard that she wants, which was, a, I think, a great call. And then try to shrink the scoring area by piling them in on top of that four foot rock. It's definitely left. Four. Top four, guys. Your line's real nice. Line's great. Line's Your line's real nice. Four, four five. All for five, five. Line's five. holding. Line's holding. Way out. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's almost to it. Oh, the call was Close. four or five. That yeah. would be top yeah. 12, top eight. And that's where it ended up. But when they were calling it out, I think Kelly was thinking that it was actually going right to need brushing nose, and that would carry it with more curl. Double. It's a tricky little spot one. that way, Nine judging seconds. the weiting, figuring out the okay, curl. Take your time and screw up on this care. You got it. Just a nose hit here. I'll make the yellow double. You'll lose the one red one at the back, but that'd be a nice shot. Sit at least three here. And McDonald called right off. It's all on its own. That's good. She hit a little full. Shot stone remains, though. Sonnenberg, that's the center line top four. Four foot's open. But the, uh, the shooter stayed right out there, Russ. Yes, it did. And it's, it's a very usable rock. Uh, Kelly's worried about it, but by taking that red one on, you certainly don't want to run it back onto your own. Guess just out count that for now. 
have a lot of space, do I? Top, biting top <laughs> eight to T. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, like easy weight maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like 11? I got enough space there with that yellow? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. We want to free that yellow open though? 11? Not, not really. <laughs> I really think Do they should get together in these yellow. conversations because several times it's looked well, like Gina has not agreed well, and I get a little nervous when somebody gets in the hack and they're thinking a different plan entirely. No, I think you got to open it to have a way in. Okay. There's no intern freeze. <clears throat> they could kind of run them. Like if we're here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 11. Let's go 11 and a half. Okay. It's tough to uh, hit and stay without taking your own out here. Keep that weight soft. 12. Clean. Clean. Whoa. Clean. Clean. Yep. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Yes. 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 Shooter sash. Well done. Nice soft weight. Good. And they wanted to out shot, count Tina. the stone at the back of the 12, and they do that, hanging it on the edge of the 8. There's not a lot of room to roll this way. I like that, though. But we might just catch the back of this. Is that terrible? You know what? I like that. Hit it thin, catch the back of this. Yeah, and I, can I roll then even further? Yeah, you might be able to roll right there. Okay. okay. 11. Okay. Okay, Lonnie, let's nail this. Gina's didn't do anything crazy. No, can I have a touch more? I, no, we have to hit it pretty thin, Lonnie. Okay. I okay. like that, like, okay. Lonnie. Let's looks nail good. it. Right up. Just bump her. 11. She's going to hit about half of this with soft weight. Oh, which makes me chuckle no, a little bit. No. Bump her up. Silly, I know. Wait, say, I'm can I have yeah. just a little more? No, you can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. No more ice Maybe for you. Hard, no. But it's so interesting, Vic, because she asked for it. I think when she threw it, she threw it out to where she thought the ice should be. And right. Renee was right. She, Renee is a very yeah. smart ice reader, and you really have to try and stick it in your head that it's correct and throw it cleanly. Yeah. No, you. We often talk about how you talk to your teammate. Clean. Planting. Close. A thought. Yeah. No, well, you can no, you can self-plant the thought, Linda. Am I right? I mean, yeah, you can whoa. convince yourself, and that's why we talk about you have to trust the shot and get into that mental space where you are yeah. believing it. Okay, that's okay. That's a good shot. Okay. Scott team is doing nice job cleaning it up. Sonnenberg still sitting the one though behind cover, top four. to that sucker. Ow. <laughs> Is nose okay? It'll or do we need to out here? Ten? No. Nose, nose is okay. Hmm? We watched okay. the It'll first rock at the right. end yeah, uh, run okay. two, two and a half feet straighter than Kelly expected by sure, getting yeah. out this wide. So you can't go much wider than where that broom is right now. Yep, 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 yep. Ten! Easy! Clean, clean. Close, yep. Yeah. Just enough air here. I think you could certainly roll in, and can you roll to the back of the button? Ten. Okay. I think it's there. It's going to be perfect. So you think you can get across the nose, can you? Yeah, there's a, look, I'm right behind it here, Vic. Looks like it's about three inches of air, so... It's a little on the inside, depending on how hard Kelly, she's going to have to be at least normal to roll that far. But. Ten. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
Wozny. On the left, Carter on the right now, trying to hold it. They got to get it by the guard first. No, they can't. there was much wrong with the throw as far as what she planned to do it just curled yeah I, I think the first one fooled uh, Kelly on the second one is a wait totally different broom position timeout has been called by Renee Sonnenberg so we could corner guard it but then she's probably gonna either she's force run or doing that. She's gonna freeze right now. I, I, okay. she's not gonna yeah, she I don't think she's gonna run she's gonna freeze okay so why don't you beat her to it okay I like if that. she makes the hit and roll and all what are you thinking? That's, what do you think? that's she's gonna be abso absolutely okay. perfect, right? She has to bite back button yeah. to get shot rock. Yeah. So because I think whatever you do over there, she's gonna freeze and you're gonna have a okay. tough shot. Okay. Yeah. What, do, what do you think? Do you like that? Yeah. I don't yeah. mind. I think Carl's nice force her to it by guarding it. So we right. may as well just play it first. Yeah, if you have line, right it'll bump yeah. it. Yeah, it's nice okay. too. Yeah, right. we don't want to bump it too far and give her more to roll into off that. Okay. No, you can be in front. Okay. Okay. Right on top. Yeah. That's enough for me, hey? Okay. I mean, it's not too much. Not too much. This is. So well, you, where did I have you there? that for the draw to the button? And, and you I, threw it I right. got full four, so yeah. give me less then. A little less yet. Well, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't want to move. <laughs> Two things. First of all, just what we saw her taking less ice. Do you like Amazing. that? No. Or yeah. yeah, it's not a huge like curl that. in this yeah, spot. Okay. That oh, part's okay. Now, do you like what Can Coach Balderson said? Like four and a quarter run? She's going to, meaning Kelly's Scott will freeze to that stone top of the four foot, no, go there first. Do you like the call? Yeah, I do, I do. I think I think what they're trying to do is guard that open rock, which is fine also, but it forces Kelly to play the freeze. If Kelly makes a great freeze, you're probably only going to score a single, which would be a shame at this point. So loop one around here, because it, if you guard the open one, Vic, Kelly could play that run back on either one of those yellows and maybe steal a point. So get this top of the eight foot. Uh, I would think Kelly Scott might have to play a double, Eight, nine. raise double, and you might score as many as four. Coming down. Seven. Okay. Do we need to take inside? We can go around. Down. Where no. is it? Eight, no, no, no. Line's fine. Just can't around? bounce off here. They got to make a decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Right back to my broom. Back to my broom. Hard. Get it by. Go, 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 go. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's good. Okay. Just Three. a little okay. rub on the way by. Come on. Did you get long on that? Okay. I don't Good think judge, the brushers ever had a real handle on that, so it was a little tricky for Lonnie in the house to figure out what to do with it. You don't think so, right? I don't think so, but I think that's okay right now. Yeah. <laughs> Versus trying a roll into the pocket. She'd always have the hammer on it anyway. Yeah, I mean, you only, if you didn't, you don't have to just get to there, right? Yeah. Hmm. Here's no good. Okay. okay. She could play the run back, the straight run back. A lot of the men's teams would give that a shot. Now you could miss that too and give up an easy four. This is a, probably the smartest call. Freeze to the face of it. If you could ever tap the shot rock back a foot, or you might be able to sit second shot. But I think at this point they'd be very happy to give away a deuce. Yeah. It's nice here. When I when I drew it was, yeah, I would say four 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 mm -hmm. four five even. I'll do it. Yeah. 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 Final stone for. She's got great weight. Kelly yeah. Scott. Great shot. Good. I'm not so sure. It's just that overbrushing yeah. to start. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone in that spot too. a little bit straighter. You know it's going to slide a little mm -hmm. faster, and you have to wait a little longer. Can you see it all? Oh, okay. Sorry. Huh? Soft weight, hack weight shot. Anything on the inside, you can actually mm -hmm. score as many as four here. Move it that far, can you? I think so, Vic. It's not simple, but even dead on gets you three. Anything on the inside, you're not going to move that one on the button very far. We 
The only Hack. thing would be the disaster is to throw this up, wait a little bit, and hit it on the high side, and you might only score a single. You were uh, 14 on your last one. Okay. All broom. Yes. 100%. Great opportunity for Renee Sonnenberg to break this game open in a 3-3 tie. Final stone here in six. Pentagra, Pasika. Right up, they say. Take it right up. Got to come across the nose just a little bit. Just a little bit. Push it back. Move it. And there it is. Count up. One, two, three, four. Renee Sonnenberg. Just the way you thought, Russ. Soft enough to get across. Push it out the back for four. Doesn't matter what sport it is, when you're given the opportunity, you have to make the most of it, and certainly Randy Sonnenberg does. It's a pressure shot it's because your team's played such a good end. You could throw this a little heavy, get pumped up under a little adrenaline and give up a single or only score one. What a beautiful touch. Tops it out easy for four. I thought what was key was before she threw it, Linda, she sat there in the hack. She got herself together knowing just how important this shot would be as she scores four. In that sixth, and this 3-3 tie now has been blown open. 7-3, Sonnenberg leads as we welcome you back to the Memorial Auditorium here in Kitchener. And in the seventh, it will be Kelly Scott out of the Kelowna Curling Club that will try and claw her way back now, down by four. She'll have the last rock playing the Yellowstones. You got it. Keep said going. before, I'm very impressed with Boys, Renee Sonnenberg and. Uh, Part of it is her ice reading. I think she's definitely winning that battle in this game. But you mentioned her throw last end, Vic. What you want to do when you're the skip and you're throwing a big shot is you don't want to be thinking about big shot chance for four, but you want to make sure that you're no longer worried about it. And I think she was still a little worried about that piece of ice. And I think she just waited until what I call the green light came on. I'm no longer worried about calling the shot. I'm now just going to throw the perfect weight. And did she ever throw that beautifully? Sat there until she could see it, right? Yeah. You, can, you can see that amount of curl and then you pick the weight up better that was a great shot well played in there's tons of time for kelly scott though with all this curl there's pretty easy to bury a few and get an easy deuce here maybe a steal in the eighth you know Rennie gets one and nine you're only two down with the hammer coming home does this change the game plan for Renee Sonnenberg, Linda. Oh, definitely. We talked about the fact she likes rocks in play. The last end was a great example, and now she will be on the defense with the big lead. Yep. No, no, no. Clean, feel. No, clean. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. oh. That's fine. That's good enough. That's good. Go. Wow, just oh, enough. Sorry. <laughs> That's good enough. How often? Russ, and uh, I'm thinking, in, well, on most team games, hockey, thinking particularly, football is the same. When the one team scores, there's this little letdown, and the other team comes right back and pots one. Yeah, you see it all the time, don't you? you see know. it all the time, and I, and I suspect if you're the Sonnenberg team right now, that is the danger that they have is just to lose focus. Yep. Yeah, and it's almost like, well, well, if I make half a shot, I'm still four ahead. Well, that's how you, all of a sudden, you're not four ahead. Now we, we talked this spot to death on the outturn side, but as we talked about it this afternoon, if it curls extremely hard in the outturn, these intern peels are going to track. They just about overswept that last one. Square up, care, grip and rip. They have interesting little uh, hack support phrases. I really like no, no, technical no. phrases or mental cues that you use with your teammates and. Square it up. That kind of thing is our technical cue. <laughs> Moved a lot of granite on that one. 
the situation here. There's a rock to get around. There's a rock to freeze too. Okay, yeah. You think this side's a little keener? I do. Yeah, I It'll do too. It'll slide nicer. Yeah, I agree. From watching your guards. Yeah. Oh, I'm not heavy. Lines a bit, guys. Yeah, go hard line. line. Hard line. Line only. Hard line. Hard line. Line's good. Hard. 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 Really gotta go. Yeah, gotta go. Hard, 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 hard. Go, 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 go. Stay with it. Go, 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 go. Hard, 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 hard. Go, 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 go. Okay. Four, six. Just hang Ten. around here. Keep it. Stay away from that this corner guard. Nice. Yeah. Roll to the center. Even if there's a double, I don't think you're going to see Kelly play play. it. She's going to play that come around again. Sorry, I didn't throw that one very nice. Gina Schrader, a six time British Columbia yes, champion. Nice. Gotta go. Still time to get at the ones in the middle, so they'll try to come around the, again. Last time, I think Sasha maybe cut that brush. She didn't get right out to it. This is like it's coming off a hill. It really does look like it's just going sideways. You have to be a lot further over before you get near that guard. Nice weight, Gina. Very nice. Well, that music familiar. That means the CFL is ahead and uh, playoffs begin tomorrow. First up, it's the Alouettes and Tiger Cats, the Eastern Semi from the University of Guelph, just down the road. New and Eastern, and then it's the uh, the Lions and uh, the Rough Riders. Western semifinal, and it all begins here on TSN, your home for the 101st Grey Cup. I suspect it's a little easier playing with a, the lead as they do right now, but Sonnenberg team deserve a little credit for the way they're executing. Oh, definitely. I really think they own the first half except for one end. So four out of five ends there, and I've really been impressed in the second half here. Last end, uh, just about perfect. Third one in a row, they've had to brush coast to coast. It's tough how many you do in a row, and even within one, they've uh, measured where you are with your maximum pressure, how long you can last, and it's not that long, maybe 10 <laughs> seconds, and they're, they're going uh, 20, 25 like that, seconds right? without brushing, that so good, yeah. that's really tough uh, to drag it far enough. Left? What about the purse okay, skip yelling, done. Linda? Right. That's, that was hard work. Yeah, that's tough I remember too. that. That's right. It's interesting, you know, four four up. You're attempting to hit that yellow dead on the front one and play the double. But to sit three this late in the end, it could work also. Yeah. Okay. And I bet you Kelly Scott's for happy about this. Tap. For the tap, yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay. Right up the right up the stick, Ren. Does it say anything about the way Renee Sonnenberg feels about her game right now, Linda? It's the way she feels about her game in general. She likes these kind of shots. Okay. I think she would opt for a draw, Seven, eight, a tap eight, over nine, a hit nine, most of the time. Nine, 
No, scoreboard should be a big factor, but I think for Renee it's a little less so. Close, yeah, yeah, nine. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little Sorry. hot. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, finish. Sit, sit. Wow. Sit. Even with okay. that, okay. saying that it was a little hot, it still managed to come up almost rust to the nose. Yes, it did, too. 35. There you go, Renny. Good throw. Yeah. You needed your first broom. Yeah. I think we could have held it with, we could have maybe held it. If you'd thrown two feet less, yeah. you didn't sweep it at all for one. Yes, two. You could just freeze. Go for two. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's only seven. I know. I just. Or you try for a bigger roll over there, maybe get this guy. Draw or know. hit? You if you hit, you're trying to bring into play the yellow that's yeah. in the 12 foot. Um. Call it out if you want. I don't like the freeze, but okay. if we make the roll, I think we're looking at that guy, maybe. Hmm. Okay, let's try the roll. Might come off the back of that, eh? I think we have to go with a bit of weight, though, if we're playing the yeah. back one. Okay. Nine. Okay. Ideally, if they get hit this one, maybe get lucky and make that double. That, that'd be really nice, but... More importantly, with the yellow one, just bring it down here and maybe come off the back of this one in this area somewhere and make Rennie think about it. The, there the, then would be a double at the back, depending on what uh, Renee does with her last one. But you have to hang around here, number one. Do you think you can hit it thin enough and roll in behind it? That's the tough part, with depending on the speed here. Doesn't make the double. Gets rid of one, and it is still Sonnenberg sitting two without last rock. A little thinner would have been a double and partly underneath. It was a good try. A little thinner, eh? <laughs> Just a touch. Yeah. Push up. yeah but it held pretty good. <sighs> Shoot. Ten. Hit and flop. Any Joe? All right. We're playing a ten. Hit and roll to touch the center line. Where you want your shooter to go, Ray? Right in front of our button. Okay, okay. disable center. Okay, got it. Easy, Chen. Trust it. It's a great comment. She's telling herself, trust the curl. Please. Down a bit, Lonnie. Uh, ten. Yep. Yep. Ten, two. Right up. Oh, clean. Ten. Clean. Wait, ten. Yes. Yep. That's fine, Ren. Okay, that's good. That's great. Another nice You're end. Well played, end. Trust the curl. You did good. You did good. That's probably the key word, isn't it? They are good trusting curl. the curl, and uh, yeah. Kelly's team's fighting it a little bit. It's just so hard to trust yeah. that it's going to bust that hard. Yeah. But Especially I've seen when it enough is now. Is fine. Yeah, I know, but no, is fine. No, I know this. Good throw. Good force. Really good force. Looking to get one back here. Yep. Chip away at a four-point lead. Hard to it. Kelly okay. Scott. All the way. Good. And right to it. There's the single point. But Rene Sonnenberg didn't suffer that letdown. The team is playing well, and they continue to lead. <laughs> Well, it was uh, just about this time, 2005, in Halifax. Brad Gugio against Jeff Stoughton in the curling trials. 
Brad Goose, you said, I think I've got it. And then you said, we got to wait. Yeah, for sure. I can remember that like it was yesterday. Uh, we didn't want to get too excited in case that measure was in. It would have been a long extra end. But uh, thank goodness it was out by a fraction. And then, of course, you went on to uh, Pinerolo to win the uh, gold medal along with uh, Brad Guju. And so Brad Guju is here and trying to get to Winnipeg to possibly give himself another chance at gold. Uh, but he'll have to get by Steve Laycock first. Laycock will look to advance out of the Natana and Saskatoon. We'll have that for you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Time on TSN, the men's playoff. And of course, the winner then would move on to play Brad Jacobs for that second spot in Winnipeg. 7 4, hey. Renee Brad, Sonnenberg. That four. And she scored in six. That's the big difference so far. The Sonnenberg, once again, will have the last rock playing the Redstones here in eight. Very nice, Sarah. It was interesting to watch the first two shots of the end. A guard went up. Him not uh, quite a, maybe exactly where they wanted it because one of those halfway guards. Yeah. You're trying to put the two guards up. It's a difficult spot to play. And then you have... Uh, your opposition playing the tick, but playing it with big weight. Rona actually played about hack weight, which means you have to really touch a small piece of it. Didn't hit it maybe exactly as much as they wanted, but that's a hard one to play even so. So this one now they're playing the come around. Plan B here, it's uh, not gonna be where they want it, so they might, need, might be smart to brush it right through right if through? anything. No. Doesn't really help them there. At least they ticked the one far enough that there's an angle on the double. If the double's ever made, your shooter will roll out. So still four and a half, eh? Four and still sliding half. real nice. Sliding nice, yeah. Not too hard to steal a point when there's this much curl. If you do it four times in a row, you win. Sasha Carter as we play second stones here in this eighth. Here it comes. Still room. It's still running. Line's good. Seven. 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 Oh, okay, let it finish. No, it's way out there. Yeah. Just at the end, get ready. Here it comes, real nice. Great shot, Sash. Good. I've seen a lot of uh, interesting scores, especially on the Bonspiel circuit this year when it comes to stealing. So it's definitely not unheard of nope. with a chance to get two guards in position for a team to steal consecutive ends or even more than one point in an end. So I know you have to keep your cool if you're Renee. This game isn't over and there's a chance for Kelly center. Scott's team to make a lot of great draws and put a lot of pressure on Renee. Go hard, go hard, go hard. Gotta go, gotta go. Every end, go, go, go. Okay, you're good. Very nice. Good Ooh. shot. Good. For Sonnenberg, she doesn't want to be drawn into anything, does she, at this point? No, she wants to keep it as open as possible. Yeah. Yeah. At this stage, it's comfortable. You have a three-point lead. If there's a, a steal this end, then it starts to get a little less comfortable. Carrie Ann McTaggart. <laughs> Gina Schrader. Curl if it 
It's deep. Sorry, what kind of weight? 11 seconds. Okay. Let's nail it. Okay, nice little bump. 11. I don't have a lot of lines, so just stay close. Okay. The bad news is that guard over curled and the rock in the house is exposed. The good news is once this hit is made, there still are two guards out in front for Kelly to play around. 7-2! Just hit five! Just clean! Lonnie yeah, McDonald won a Canadian Mixed wow. Championship Happy. back in 2000 with Ray Kevin up. Cooey. Go Catch the run for just a hair. Am I right in my thinking that the reason that Sonnenberg hasn't run those guards off is because the stones in the house have been available? Is that the yeah, in that particular case, and it was in such a good spot. I think she was thinking that this one might not end up at as, as good a spot, but that was the other option. The double peel would have been simple, and then there would have been a lone yellow in there. Having right a little right bit right of trouble Let's getting enough going. curl here. Shot. And there's to the this has worked out well for Sonnenberg because nice that rock isn't as good as the one they hit out previously, so it's a little bit easier to draw closer than that one with her last one if she has to. Well thought out. That's about all Kelly Scott can do if you peel this rock, is tap that yellow one. And there will be a double for a possible two or three. Stones here in the eighth. Kelly there. Scott. Two. Yeah. Yeah, hard line. Hard. Right to center. Line should be good, yeah. Little hard. Little. Hard, hard, hard. Good. Nice. Very nice. Nice job. Good job. Let's take a look at the uh, numbers for the skips and. Uh, what does that 61 percent tell you about Kelly Scott? It tells you a big story. We told you about the layoff two days when they last played. I think that showed early, and I think it's Renee Sonnenberg with the better ice reading. I'm a little surprised with Renee's hits being that low. I would have thought they were a bit higher, but I really think overall it's Renee has figured out the ice faster. The player comparisons are brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Did you see that? She lifted. <laughs> Do you like the Probably top or guard? guard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. They asked. Her. <laughs> Trying to create something with the jam or something. Yeah, no. I like this. We can get two or three in the next. Yeah. <laughs> right. Straight guard, Linda? 
or the top. Straight guard is what the front end wanted, and that's what their the vote worked. I thought that was a rather positive way of thinking about it. We'll get to three or four or two or three the next end. But that's uh, only full eight with that rock yeah, in the it's, house. It's, it's pretty beatable, that one. And, uh, of course, if the guard isn't made, you could be ball game. A little deeper. We, ah, it's gonna be like just biting. Okay. <laughs> Interesting, you, uh, you could play the draw because the draw isn't that all that impossible. You can, but this double's pretty inviting for a potential three. Would you rather throw peel though? Like, I'm, what are you, are you? I don't mind throwing peel, yeah. and I don't mind that same yeah. ice actually. Yeah, let's okay. do that. Let's just easy peel. Okay. She's pretty firm on the last one, no? Hmm? She was pretty firm on the last one? Oh, yeah, I didn't time it, but okay. yeah. She's throwing eight and a half. Okay. Right on the nose, it'd be perfect. Can we squeeze it out the back, early? will it? Yep. One yeah. goes sideways, one goes out the back. Yeah, and the shooter stays. Just, open hit, just yeah. nibbling, I guess. Danger would be crossing it. If you crossed it, you'd uh, give up uh, a steal of one, maybe, maybe even two at the back. So you've got to keep this on the high side of that center line. I think that's why they also thought of the peel weight. Mm. A little more unlikely that you're going to be jam, jam and give up a bad end. Bang, Once bang, again, bang, very bang, deliberate bang, in the hack before bang, she throws. Bang, Renee Sonnenberg. Pasika McTaggart trying to hold it. And through, out, 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 moving out, and there's three more. Boy, she has played well, Renee Sonnenberg. Ten, four. You know, when we started the evening, Linda, we talked about Renee Sonnenberg. The relative inexperience of her team. She had it all, and you said she would be the key. Yeah, key in ice reading and also in making the big shots, and that's a great example. She knew where to put the broom. She can throw the up weight and made them both go away for a big three. So you add that to a four earlier, and she leads it 10 to four, which brings us to the game story so far. And the story really was, Renee, a really tough start for Kelly Scott. And in the sixth and eighth, it was Scott trying to make some big shots to get her team out of trouble. Couldn't do it and left shots for Renee for a four and then a three. And that's the game. The game story is brought to you by M&M Meat Shop's frozen food at its best. And uh, this evening, no doubt that the team of Renee Sonnenberg are the better team. Up by six as we play here in nine. And I think for Kelly Scott, it's pretty clear what they have to do in the regrouping, and that's have another chat about this sheet of ice. They're right. going to be back on it tomorrow, and they have to get it figured out. Yeah, they were fooled quite a few times early, and then the shots just kept getting harder and harder, and then, and then Rennie made them pay a beautiful come around tap for four, and then the peel weight shot was also equally as accurate. We always talk about it. You can have one person struggling and maybe win a game, but if you don't put the broom in the race, by you have four people struggling. Wow, again. All right, they just been ticking those uh, corner guards. Just enough. Curling. 
good sash, good. Let it fly. Trying to go, go, roll go. it over and grab a piece, and they do. Okay. Center line, top 12. Okay, we need tons of ice. Yeah. Like, I was wide on my guard, and that... Isn't that... That like, looks tight to me, but... Well, that was our ice, and the guard was way over, wasn't that's it? That's just my ice for the guard. I'm feeling wide. Yeah. Over. Far as it'll go. Hard, hard, hard. Far as it'll more. go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Little more. Hard, 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 hard. Little more. Good brush. Good shot. So, as we mentioned, the winner of this game, and with Renee Sonnenberg leading 10 4, the winner of this game gets the direct ticket to Winnipeg. The loser will get a second chance tomorrow against Val Sweeting out of the Savile Sports Center in Edmonton. Sweeting coming off her win earlier today against Cheryl Bernard, the silver medalist from Vancouver. Well, yeah. okay, well. It's interesting the way things go. I mean, and no disrespect to Renee Sonnenberg, but sure. and granted the, the teams are a lot different, but if you just went on name recognition alone, you know, the, the likes of Shannon Clybrink. Uh, Cheryl Bernard, Amber Holland, uh, Crystal Webster. There were some more familiar names ahead of Renee Sonnenberg. And is it a surprise to you that Sonnenberg Five, might be, could seven, be, looks like she yeah. is going to be <laughs> Six, maybe getting, possibly. The, getting the ticket? Well, not to me. I've been watching Renee for a long time, and I've been so impressed. Uh, last year, I saw her in a Bondsville up close, and uh, I was coaching a team against her, actually. And I don't think I've ever seen a person manage a team so well and manage the ice, and that's what I said right from the beginning. And that, as Russ just mentioned, goes a long way mm -hmm. in this game. If you can get the best out of every player, yeah, maybe Renee doesn't uh, have the name like a Shannon Clybrink or a Cheryl Bernard because they've been to an Olympics, but she manages a team as well as anybody on the page or anybody already in Winnipeg, and that's what happened in this game. Lonnie we, McDonald. We already know we have a ton of great curlers in yes. the country. So then you have to say, well, what is the yeah. big difference? Some of them, it's the huge commitment they make, yeah. the chance to play a lot, and that makes them a little bit better, the experience, that sort of thing. But quite often it comes down to stepping on the ice and being your best that moment. If you can do it time after time, do the little things well, you're going to win a lot of games. Get it to the nose isn't too bad. It's too light to get it buried, so just on top of it's not bad. Just an in between. Yeah. Just peel it. A nine. Just pick How it. much can you see, Ren? Two different sides. Eh? No, not quite all. Okay. Richard uh, Kelly say by backing up your comment no, turned around said there's two different sides meaning swinging straight and uh, that's exactly what's caught them and uh, full marks to Rennie Sonnenberg and the ice reading I, I think that's made a huge difference just 
a soft way here. They should be able to hold it with the brushes in this spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trené Sonnenberg. This is her first skip stones in nine. Got to get it by that center guard. Oh, wow. Wow, sorry. That's okay. That's good. That was great sweeping. <laughs> it was great sweeping. The whole team have actually made a 100% commitment to every shot, and that included the brushing. And a nice job on that one. That's nice. <laughs> very little motion with their brushing. I like that. It's very efficient. this roll and it will uh, pop out the other side nice try all the same kind of hard for an 11. can she see uh, i think that was gonna yeah. get out this side three quarter just an 11. 10 four. Oh, okay I thought pick originally, but well, you know, I think the pick because if I ever yeah. miss that, then they're okay. Yeah, you know for two. I mean? yeah. yeah, just pick it. Can I feel feel? Yes. Do you like that ice? Yeah, I think you're gonna get some pearl right here. Yes. That looks really good. Okay. Like feel? Right. Yep. Advantage of sitting second and third here, you can just hammer this out of here. Half, don't have to save yeah. the shooter. is there for sure but that puts the yellow one in the rings and might might set up a red double so this is the simpler of the two but it will go here We're calling peel weight which makes a lot of sense in this spot yeah you said earlier that you can really you can throw it through the yeah curl. yeah 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 in this spot though it curls right so up. much right right up. Right final stone oh. Renee Sonnenberg Oh, and again, this brushing has yeah, yeah. been wonderful. Yeah. Rona Pasek and Carrie Ann McTaggart. That's a, that deserves a high five. Ten and a half. Okay. It ever chips that red out? Yes. Now you're looking at a deuce. Yeah, exactly. Maybe even more. And so now you're uh, facing three with your last here in nine. And if it should end here, you want this to be a positive thought left yes. with you, don't you? You really do. We, uh, we used to sometimes when you could quit, we'd stay out there just to get used to the ice, get a little better feel, get some much needed confidence. And this is not going to leave her with a lot of confidence. Thin and out the back, and it's going to be a steal of two more. Just a little soft. Yes, we can handshake. Can we? Yeah. Can we? There you go, and so that will be the end of it. And Renee Sonnenberg and her team of Rona Pazika, Gary Ann McTaggart, Lonnie McDonald under the Grand Prairie Curling Club will advance to the Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings with a very convincing win. Yes, you are. You're going to the trials. Make the final 12-4. And so now Kelly Scott will have to regroup for a 2 p.m. Eastern meeting Sunday afternoon against Val Sweeting of Edmonton.
Very impressive by the skip from Grand Prairie. The 2013 Capital One Road to the Roar is brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? It's now time for tonight's secret word. The secret word is delicious. Go to finalend.ca and enter this word for your chance to win. The 2013 Capital One Road to the Roar is brought to you by Ford. Go further by Scotty's, Sponge Towels, Purex, and Cashmere. Proud to support the exceptional women of the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. And by World Financial Group, creating a better tomorrow for families today. WFG. Renee Sonnenberg and her team from the Grand Prairie Curling Club are the first of the two women's teams to advance to Winnipeg. Renee's with Linda. Well, Renee, congratulations. A wonderful team performance. Yeah, we really pulled all our hard work all year together today, and it felt great, and we totally enjoyed it out there. In a building where I think the ice is tricky, I felt like you had a terrific handle on ice and stones. You know what? We really liked the stones we had today. We worked well with them in practice. Um, and the ice, we just knew if you get by, you got a chance to bury. The only thing you can't do is rub, and you can't under ice. And we did a great job of managing that the whole week. I'm very proud of the girls. Well, now you can think about it. How does it feel to be going to Winnipeg in the Roar of the Rings? You know what? It's a thrill just to play against all those great teams and to, for our hard work mostly to pay off and to show people that, you know, little rural people can play on the big <laughs> stage too. <laughs> well, congratulations again and good luck. Oh, thanks so much, Linda. It means a lot. I know there's some people at the Fort St. John Curling Club who are very excited this evening that their curler is getting through. Jennifer Jones, Heather Nedewin, Stephanie Lott, and Rachel Holman. Along with Sherry Madaw, Chelsea Carey, and now Renee Sonnenberg. She qualifies from Kitchener and gets her ticket to Winnipeg in the Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings. One spot still to be decided. That will be tomorrow. So here's our day, Sunday on the Capital One Road to the Roar. We'll start it at 9 a.m. on TSN. Gushu against Lakeoff. On CTV2 stations across the country at 2 p.m. It'll be Val Sweeting against Kelly Scott for that second women's spot in Winnipeg. And then at 7 p.m. Eastern time on TSN2, it'll be the winner of Jacobs and Gushu, or be Brad Jacobs, pardon me, against the winner of Gushu and Lakeoff. So congratulations to Rennie Sonnenberg and her team from Grand Prairie. Very impressive win over the two-time Canadian and world champion Kelly Scott. So until we talk with you again tomorrow, on behalf of our entire crew, thank you very much. We're in Kitchener for the Road to the Roar, and it's only here on Canada's Sports Leader. TSA.